the euro has pushed past that key $1.50 level for the first time in 14 months. Sarah Eisen has been following this action for us at our market's desk. Uh, we're seeing equities rally, even though we've seen the dollar firm a bit. But it's coming back down. We're no longer at that 150 mark. Risk appetite is really running high here, Margaret. Rising stock markets, optimism that the economy around the world is recovering, all taking part in today's rally, sending the euro above 150. We are still just above 150 still here we'll on, back up. Okay. on the euro. There's another part of the story, and this was brought to my attention by Mike Moran at Standard Chartered. Mm -hmm. He is watching the action in the swaps market, saying interest rate differentials are increasingly coming back into focus here. And what's happening is two-year swap spreads are showing a widening spread in favor of higher interest rates in the eurozone relative to the U.S. So that could be really fueling this rally here going on in the euro. The key question will be whether we close above 150. Mm -hmm. So that's one to watch. Just for some perspective, also the all-time high on the euro dollar exchange rate is 160.38, and that was reached last July. So that will be another one to watch as we move higher here on the euro. And we talked about a silver lining here for sterling, potentially. Well, sterling is the star performer here today after uh, Bank of England policy members voted unanimously against an expansion of that quantitative easing program mm -hmm. to pump liquidity into the system. Still, strategists aren't convinced that the program is over. RBC is expecting a further expansion at November's meeting. That could still be very bearish here for the pound. So some near-term relief here for sterling, but strategists aren't convinced that it is the beginning of the end of the pound's downturn. Beginning of the end. Not, well, not, not convinced. There's still a lot of negative sentiment on the bear, on the British pound.